point. Uh, it's very sad that we're losing some wonderful pubs. This one is still with us, fortunately. And uh, pubs are great places for interaction verbally and uh, merriment and wonderful things. And uh, fortunately, one has survived in Leeds called The Grove. And um, it hasn't changed at all. It's still beautiful. And it takes some finding. It's tucked away. But it's well supported with real ale and folk clubs and uh, all sorts of musicians. been going there since... Uh, 1962. It's the oldest folk club in Britain, in fact, in Leeds. It's called The Grove. And um, I was there uh, a few months ago, reflecting back to the time I first went in there, to be rejected by the folk club people in the 60s, because they're all very narrow-minded, traditional people in those days. And uh, that should come out in the, in the poem, if this is the same one. And it's amazing what the link comes through, a little Scotty dog. Uh, interesting how you analyse poetry sometimes, think, well, what triggered that poem? And this was a little Scotty dog going between the tables, which will all become relevant um, as we go through the poem. Tales from the Grove. White Scotty dog wanders confusingly around the old pub. Blues band tune up with simple 12-bar blues beat. Three chords never confuse, asks Bob Dylan. As the third blonde of blonde light ale slip easily down to mellow the senses and remember the first time I groved out with foggy partner Lenny in the mid-sixties folk club dominated by wailing British traditional out-of-tune finger-in-the-ear old folk singers bellowing out in the back room you can't come in here with your guitars said Brian of the new heritage folk singers uh, we'd like to book you but uh, you use guitars and, and sing through microphones uh, you're bloody good, though, whatever you are, but you're not folk. The price of pioneering contemporary folk, a ten quid booking at the Grove, rejected. As the likely foggy lads drove from the Grove through the murky Leeds back streets to rise above the narrow-minded tra traditional folk bigots, to take folk to the masses via TV screen, major record label decker, and to success with a finger out of the ear roll and a up yours position. Forty years on, I sit and reflect from this glorious Victorian public house and relish the past memories with a contented smile as the little white Scotty dog pisses on the pub floor <laughs> on my metaphorical behalf. <laughs>